right, folks. So at this point, we learned about if statements and some variables and things like that. It's probably about time for you to learn how to actually write your own code. So watching someone else code is not the same as learning how to code yourself. That's something you need to, to start practicing. That's something that if you don't practice, you can't develop. So at this point, I'm going to take a small detour and kind of walk you through how you might write your own program, give you a little bit of homework, have you try some things out. Um, and so what I've done is kind of very carefully walk you through the steps that you might take for your first project. And your first project is going to be to build a tip calculator. Um, and so in order to do that, the first thing that you should do is create a new project in Visual Studios. Um, you have a couple of videos where I walk through that. And then you're going to add a new source. Um, and this is, this is really developed for my class, and so I have a very specific name that I tell them to make for the source. Um, you might call your source tipcalculator.cpp if you're not handing it in anywhere. <clears throat> the first thing that you should try to do is just get something to output. So you've seen a lot of C out statements. You probably haven't written very many unless you've done some practice along the way. So go ahead and write your shell for your main, the pound include, the using namespace, the int main, and C out a statement that says tip calculator 1.0 to the screen. Compile it, run it, make sure it shows up, make sure it shows up in the console. Um, you should run and check very, very often. And so the first step in that is just get anything to output to the screen. These next couple of steps are, are broken down to test that you understand how making variables and using variable work before you dump into user assignment and, and user input and things like that. And so what I have them do, or what I'm going to have you do, is create a variable called check amount and give it an initial value of 65. For this homework, you can use any types you want, um, although I kind of assumed the user only knew int, but if you use doubles or something like that, you can, um, but it's okay if you use integers. Then, whoops, sorry, then I have them create a variable called tip amount and set that equal to 20% of the check amount. Oh, look, there's a little typo in here. Um, once you have the tip amount, you can print that to the user. So at this point, you've written four lines of code. You should, sorry, you should um, check those four lines of code make sure that it compiles, make sure it runs, and see what your output looks like. Next, you're going to create a variable called total paid, which is the sum of the two other variables, and print that out to the user. Now you should run and check your program. At this point, your program should have three outputs, the tip calculator, the tip amount, and the total paid. The user is enter, will enter the check amount later on, and so when you run it, you'll see the check amount, the tip amount, and the total paid as well. So at this point, the program just runs. It automatically computes. Um, the tip based off of a given check amount, but the whole point of this is to make an automatic tip calculator. And so, what I want you to do next is find the proper place in your code to ask the user for their tip amount, for their check amount, not their tip amount, to ask the user for their check amount. So, go find the place to do the check amount read in, run it, check it, make sure that the tip changes based on the check amount. Um, in the problem description, I have a caveat that we never want to leave a zero dollar tip. So, if the tip amount happens to be zero dollars, then we want to change the tip amount to a dollar. And so next, I have them add a conditional to do that. That's just an if statement. Um, it's, it's nothing fancy. It doesn't have to have an else or anything like that. Go ahead and run and check and make sure that that works. You've taken many steps at this point, but what happens if the user enters an amount that's negative or the tip amount is negative? Um, if the user enters an amount that's negative, then things have gone, gone wrong, and so you should print an error that says something like, warning, this program is unsure of how to tip a negative check amount, and then run and check that. After that, you have a calculator that computes tips based off some check amount. It's not too bad. Um, there's some other rules and descriptions for, for the folks in my class at the bottom there, um, but, but that's all you have to do. So this uses integer types, it uses conditionals. You have to write your, your very, very, very first program all by your lonesome just using a problem description. I do walk through how you make the variables and what you should do, um, but it really probably is the first time that you've kind of seen a problem description and tried to work through writing this. Um, programming and learning to program is about failing. You, you will try to type some things. It won't compile. You'll have to fix them. Learning how to make those mistakes and how to fix those mistakes and persevere beyond those is part of programming. Um, programming is kind of awesome because you do get instant feedback when you get things right or wrong. Um, so go out there, try some programs. This is an interesting one. Hopefully uh, you, you use it the next time you go to a restaurant or something like that. Um, and until next time, bye!